my name is Julia, and I have been personally victimized by basketball. Is that a good start? Yes. Been personally victimized by Arkansas and Kansas. I liked you, Arkansas, because I follow the 19 Kids and Counting drama, and I feel like there's a lot of weird religious stuff that happens there. I have no real um, evidence to support this besides that show and, like, a good guess, (laughs) but I love culty states. Utah, love Utah, and then they just had to go in this little basketball game they just did and fuck up my whole thing. I've never done March Madness. I don't know shit about basketball. But Kansas was my only hope. I'm going to lose these fucking brackets. And I wanted money. And this is probably my boyfriend's fault. Because I... (laughs) I offered to help you pick your bracket. You told me no. He's in last last place in the brackets. I'm so glad I didn't... (laughs) Glad he didn't help me. But... I just had all this hope, all this excitement, and all this joy that I haven't felt in a long time. And in two days, I was crushed. Kansas broke my heart. Arkansas betrayed me because I thought I had feelings for them, you know. Not in the basketball world, but I'm just devastated. I'm tired. What else dramatic things can I say? This is the worst day of your entire life. Yeah, this is the worst day of my entire life. Nothing else. It'll never get better from here. It'll never get better from here. I'm happy I didn't know about sports before this. I don't want to know any more. If you never know about sports, you can't get hurt by sports. Yeah, ignorance is bliss. This is the last time I'm opening my heart up to new activities and interests. (laughs) You still had fun watching and getting excited about it, didn't you? Was it worth it, though, for this feeling? It's, it's hard always, to say. And it's always like, I got next. It's, it's always the hope. I got next year. Next year will be the year. That's how basketball fans work in our brains. Next year, we have another chance. That sounds like drug addiction. Yes. I already have those. <laughs> just add another one. I guess. Maybe I should. Just have be like, live, live in, like, in denial. It'll be like, next year's my year. It'll be my year next year. I just really wanted it to be this time. <laughs> That's me every year. It's going it to be Gonzaga Arizona's year this year. It never is. Well, that's because you have like all this heart in it. So you're obviously not going to win. I was being as logical as my pea brain could be. I thought I, I just had a lot of, I just really believed in myself for the first time in a long time. Basketball is weird, but interesting, but cruel. Did you learn anything about yourself through this process? I learned that, well, I learned that I think some of, like, the coaches need help with, like, their makeup. <laughs> I learned that... Outfits could be better. color design. Outfit colors, coordinations could be done better. Especially, what is it? Kent State. They fucked up their colors. Their outfits don't match their little team color. And, like, the cheerleaders match the team color. And it's a very unique, not really pretty color, but I kind of like that. But then they were wearing mustard yellow outfits, and that's not their team color. It was like puke green yellow, like booger green, booger booger yellow. So, commit. The cheerleaders did it, and they look cute. And they stood out, and they're beautiful. That was really annoying. Who was Timmy? Drew Timmy. Drew Timmy Gonzaga. He didn't need to look that ugly. That stash is not for him. Um, he's like a good looking guy if he like fits them up yeah he'd look totally fine but then he does he has this little little weird stash and I was like but he he did a good job I will say that I just like to look at people's appearances and judge them but only because I do that to myself put out your application to eScan that you should get a segment to talk about like the fashion yeah I want to I want a segment on ESPN sports where I can just talk because while I was watching these games I had a lot of opinions I think they're important. <laughs> anyway, I guess I, I think that's enough. I'm just hurt. And I'm going to go get a burrito. And I'm going to make Austin pay for it. <laughs> Love you. What? Love you. <laughs> what? I also want to say that I'm now virtual power washing Perfect. to dissociate Perfect. from my feelings. So I don't have to feel. But 
It's very fun. I just got up from a long nap and I'm taking all of Austin's fucking bottles and cans to the Combini to throw away and also get some coffee because I got a poo and I'm trying to go eat some nice food and I'm not trying to have like a tummy ache. Hopefully this coffee will get the job done. Oh, last night I slept horribly, but I did my skin routine and my skin's looking way better today. It still looks like shit, but it was bad. It's been bad like for the past few days or week or whatever. And I had some fucked up, crazy fun dreams last night. And I just wish I could talk about them and share with everybody, but the only person who likes their dreams is the person who dreamed them or like is interested in them. And luckily Austin is interested in my dreams unless he's just been tricking me for almost two years. Anyway, all right, we're gonna go eat some American barbecue, fuck yeah. And I'll see you then. This hurts my feelings. Like look at all of this trash and this little nice bench. And this is like a nice little park. I gotta come here and just fucking clean it one of these days. Get lit and clean. Look at some nice. Like what the fuck? Like it even says right here, it says take your trash home and th don't fucking throw your cigarette butts on the damn ground and nobody listening. And I love breaking me some rules, but like don't fucking litter. Come on. It's getting warmer now, so get me like a bottle of wine get drunk and do what i do best clean when i'm drunk and i'm gonna fix that little park then i could sit there and not feel gross and the earth shall smile got the train all to ourselves Ooh, we're in the barbecue smokehouse hell yeah i'm so comfy look at that <laughs> i'm free I want to buy a train car, build it into an apartment. One huh? of these I want to buy one of these train cars, build it into an apartment. Interesting. It could be like a little, you know, they do like all kinds of weird mini houses or like turn a storage unit into a house. I saw someone turn a crashed airplane into a house in the middle of the woods. You could totally do this. Oh yeah. That would be so cool. Let's do it. See you guys on the other side. Drop my card on the train. Jesus. I dropped my car on the train <laughs> and they found it very quickly. So yay. We got little butter fingers over here, but we found it really fast. It was so good. Yeah, it was, yeah, so it was nice about it. My last card had a hundred dollars on it and I lost it. I never got it back. So I guess I'm happy I get this one back. Uh, yeah. It had $10 on it, but. <laughs> Still uh, does have $10 on it. Yeah. And I do need that. He was like talking over me. He was very kind actually, but I feel like they always talk over me. I'm like, am I like, is my Japanese just the worst? Like, no, they're just awkward about it. And I hope so. I hope so. Cause I was like, I, bitch, I understand you. I feel like my response is like, they're not normal, but they're understandable. Yeah, we were perfectly clear with them. But anyway, got my card back. <laughs> well, not yet, but they have it and we'll get it later. So God bless. Japan, I am not religious. We need to go eat barbecue food Barbe now. Yes, barbecue time. We're in Harajuku like we are every fucking time we leave the house. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's like Sakura themed. I guess it's the coach. It's coach. Okay. Oh my god, a beautiful dog. What? Aww. Who's the dog? Is it just there to model for coach? What the fuck? I love her. It's so pretty. Oh, wow. What a cool idea. The coach tabby shop. Is it like a pop-up shop? It looks like it. It looks like a special. Yeah, I've never seen this before. Only for, oh my god, March 7th through April 2nd. Oh, I love you ice cream. I love it. <laughs> oh, Sky, that's so cool. I love this store. I have no idea where I'm at. Bear. What a fun store. They got me other ones. Oh, I like that one. Just simple and cute. And there's a bear. Is that what it's called? My eyes are so puffy. <laughs> We at the steak place, or the barbecue American place. I love this place. Yes. 
is so good. Is this the second time we've been the here? Second time we've been here. Fourth time I've been here. Oh, oh, okay. oh. Arigatou gozaimasu. Hi, what is Okay, so she made a mistake. So we get this, guys. I'm getting a bourbon milkshake. Yeah. Bourbon whiskey milkshake. And I'm getting just a spiced apple beer. Oh, arigatou gozaimasu. Spiced apple beer. Can I have some Lava. of your water? Those so we can share it. Water is life. She's got her drink. She's gonna do her first sip. Yes. Got the spiced apple beer, seasonal, whatever the fuck, at Smoked House. Gets a review. How is it? It's actually great. Better than the beer I had the other day, which is like one dollar beer, but. Good. Yeah, I could slam this in like two seconds. What a, what a comparison. I can't slam it in two seconds, but like a minute. Mm. You want to try it? Yeah. It smells sweet. So I am the biggest whiskey fan in the world. And I saw they had a whiskey shake here with no flavor other than whiskey. So I'm really curious how this is going to go. Really? It looks like a vanilla. <laughs> It's vanilla with a slight hint of whiskey taste. It's okay. so good. We're you gotta try, try this. Is it, you said bourbon whiskey. It's whiskey, not bourbon. I messed up. It just tastes like a milkshake. Do you taste that little bit of whiskey in there? A little bit. A little bit at the end. And I want these balls. Look at those balls. Do you think we should get those balls? Like, comment, and subscribe if we should get those balls. Like, comment, and subscribe if you know what balls are. <laughs> got the brisket and the macaroni and cheese and cornbread. And Austin, what did you get? I got the pulled pork sandwich. And fries. And fries. It looks, looks so amazing. good. That brisket looks incredible. I'm jealous. We can have some for sure. Are you cheating on me? No. I don't know how it got here. Just did. How was the food today? Amazing. I'm like, oh, it's tickling me so bad. Look at that. DNA. Yeah, we both are in food colors, I think. We're hot. Oh, yeah, I'm, I feel like s smooth. You don't want to have to like make that Just talk, you, you can turn that off now. I don't need to. I feel like, like everything I do is so like smooth and comfortable and relaxed is a better way to say it. Alright. You got it? Yes. But you also know that Jesus Christ is coming back in the year 2024. Don't turn it off, I'm done. Sakura are starting to bloom. Oh my gosh. Spring is a coming. This road is going to be so pretty soon, but only fall out a little bit. It's crazy. Good night, everybody. Thank you, and like and subscribe. Big voice for you to do oh, it. Oh, good night, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching and like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, um, just got an update. It's the next day and like, look at the cherry blossoms. They're really blooming. They're having so fast. I just recorded them yesterday. Oh my God. It's happening. Spring is here and they're so beautiful. They don't last long. I love when they start raining pink for like a few days though. That's a nice time. Wow, so quickly it happened. Okay, this is, this is the true end of this video. Sorry, just had to share this, it's so pretty.